intake system in the past two weeks, and the city expects that number to intensify. Now he's teaming up with other big city mayors on new efforts to address the crisis. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram has details. Overnight, four buses filled with migrant families arrived at Port Authority from Philadelphia after a plane from Texas to New York carrying them was diverted there due to weather. Desde Texas, nos mandaron hasta Filadelfia. Y de ahí ya en bus. We talk with Leslie Hernandez, her husband, and their two daughters who were among them. They were processed at the Roosevelt Hotel intake site in Midtown Manhattan Wednesday. They tell CBS2 they were given a map, metro cards, and an address to an emergency shelter outside of the city. City officials believe this is the latest tactic by Texas Governor Greg Abbott to send asylum seekers to major cities. But for many migrants, fleeing their country for safety is their reality. The Hernandez family, who's from Colombia, says their parents were murdered, prompting them to move to Venezuela. According to the city's Department of Social Services, over 157,600 asylum seekers arrived in New York City since last spring in need of shelter. New York City Mayor Eric Adams held a news conference Wednesday afternoon about the humanitarian crisis with a coalition of cities and announced an executive order so migrants can arrive in an orderly and safe way. I'm announcing an executive order requiring charter buses transporting migrants those often contracted by the state of Texas to provide 32 hours notice in advance of their arrival into New York City. So far, the city opened 214 emergency shelters across the five boroughs and announced 5% budget cuts across all city agencies to help house migrants. But the city is growing desperate and continues to call on its federal and state partners for support. Claro que en la migración, pues, nos dijeron que no podíamos trabajar. And a new shelter is expected to open up in Brooklyn next week. It's expected to house about 400 adult migrants. In the meantime, the city's 60-day family shelter limit is expected to come up very soon as well. Families will have to reapply for a new place to stay. In Midtown Manhattan, Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News. And in a statement, Texas Governor Greg Abbott said in part, until President Biden steps